What is up guys, welcome back to the channel, Dylan Grubb, Real Extreme Outdoorsman. If you guys are new here to the channel, make sure to go hit that subscribe button for me. Help me at 15,000 subs, I would really appreciate it. But in today's video, I actually just got my Carl's box in the mail about a week ago. And I haven't really had time to do an unboxing for this, so I'm just getting time right now. I've been super busy doing a ton of ice fishing videos lately, so... I've just been busy with that and haven't had time to do an unboxing showing you guys what I ordered, but um, basically I'm just going to be doing an unboxing and today's video is actually sponsored by Carl's Bait and Tackle and if you don't know what that is, it's a fishing website um, called Carl's, obviously, um, but it's a website where it has some of the best fishing deals online. Um, I order all of my fishing tackle, whether it's rods, reels, tackle, anything you can think of is on Carl's Bait and Tackle. I order all my fishing gear off Carl's Bait and Tackle just because I get some of the best deals out there. And it has everything you can think of. That's why I get all my stuff. And I just love ordering fishing tackle online. It's way easier. Um, I don't have to drive to the store. And once I get to the store, I usually find a million other things that I want. And I just grab them because it's so easy. But ordering off Carl's, you can just pick certain lures that you want. And you don't have to buy a million things. So I love getting my fishing lures on Carl's Bait and Tackle website. But basically guys, like I said, I'm just gonna be doing an unboxing, showing you guys all the new lures that I ordered off the website. Mostly all these lures are for ne next open water season, cause right now all the lakes are froze over and everything, so I can't really go out and use the lures that are in here, but I always like stocking up, ready for getting out on the boat next spring but i'm gonna head over there um to the truck and sit down and just show you guys all the new lures that i got in the box well guys it is time to open up the carl's bait and tackle box um, i actually just got this in the mail about a week ago i've been super busy filming and traveling doing a ton of ice fishing videos lately and i haven't had time to just relax sit down and film the Carl's Bait and Tackle video. But basically, I'm just gonna be showing you what I order off the Carl's Bait and Tackle website and why I order all this stuff. Just because Carl's Bait and Tackle, like I said, has all kinds of different stuff on the website. Um, some of the best fishing deals online. So I always order all of my fishing tackle, everything that I need off of the Carl's website because it's got some great deals. And it has pretty much everything you can think of from lures, rods, reels, line, anything for camping, knives, all kinds of stuff, guys. So I just love getting on the Carl's Bait and Tackle website and just checking it out. There's all kinds of different stuff and they're always adding new stuff to the website as well. So I'm going to open it up real quick and just show you guys briefly what I ordered off of the website. Most of this stuff is for next year um, out on Lake St. Clair. Probably, you probably know what I ordered. I always get a ton of these. And that is swim baits. I got a bunch of different swim baits in here. I think I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10 things of swim baits and I am just stocking up getting ready for next year's Lake St. Clair trips and you guys know out there on St. Clair it gets crazy on um, the smallmouth bass love swim baits and you can go through probably 20 30 swim baits a day maybe more depending on what swim baits that you're using so I always get a ton of swim baits I get stocked up for the year and you I honestly throw a bunch of different swim baits depending on the situation um, I love throwing bile spawn exo swims or I'll throw the rage swimmer or I'll even throw the Guggen baits saucy swimmer so there's a bunch of different ones that I throw um, just depending on where I'm fishing on the lake and depending on the weather and everything but 
these rage swimmers are super durable it seems like you can catch a ton of fish on them same with these saucy swimmers you can catch a ton of fish on these before they break so i love throwing all these and it seems like the even the bile spawn one that i always throw you can catch a ton of fish on that before it goes bad like i could probably caught I don't even know, 10 to 20 or more smallmouth on one swim bait with those bile spawns and the rage swimmers and the saucy swimmers. But it seems like those Kytex swim baits, I don't know what it is about those ones, but it seems like you catch one fish and the swim bait's broken. So I like sticking with the rage, the Guggen, and the bile spawn. But like I said, I'm just going to quickly go over all the colors. And I ordered some new colors that I'm going to be trying this year. This one is the Rage Swimmer 3.75 inch. And that one looks really good. It's just like a whitish color. Um, it's called Ghost Shad. And it's got gray on top and white on bottom. So that one looks pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'm going to open them up. I don't want to break all the ceiling and everything. But right there, this one is the Sexy Shad color. I throw Sexy Shad a lot out on Lake St. Clair. It's probably one of my favorite colors out there. Um, but I really like that one. It's got like bluish on top and then gold flakes and like a clear bottom. So I really like that one. I think I got a couple different packs of that color right there. So <clears throat> gotta organize them back into the box. But next up we have the kvd magic and this one looks really good i'm pretty excited to try this one out it's like a green pumpkin with blue flakes and kind of like a bluish bottom to it so that one looks pretty good if it says kvd on it it's probably good guys <laughs> so next up we got some guggen baits saucy swimmers the 3.8 and this one is the goby and this one seems pretty interesting because, you know, smallmouth love gobies. And that one's like a green pumpkin with a bluish bottom. And it has like gold and red or orange flakes in it. So that one looks pretty interesting. I'm definitely going to be throwing all these next year. Or not next year. I'm just saying next year just because it feels like winter right now. And next year would be next um, open water fishing. But... So, the 4.8 Guggen baits, I ordered some of these bigger swim baits. Um, I don't have any of the big ones yet, so I thought I would try out the bigger Guggen baits Saucy Swimmer, the 4.8. And this is actually the Sexy Shad, or the Sexy Shimmer. So that one looks really good. It's almost just like, almost like clearish all around with yellow and blue in it, and gold flakes. So I just ordered the big one just because I throw that big bile spawn exo swim and that one's huge and I caught a ton of big fish on it last year it seems like when I was throwing that bigger bile spawn swim bait the bigger fish were biting it but next up we got the green pumpkin pearl and that one is really good me and my buddy Georgia Bassmasters actually threw this one out on Lake St. Clair last year and caught a ton of big smallmouth um, around some beds and around some structure that we found so that one is really good I really recommend throwing that if you're going out on Lake St. Clair <clears throat> next up we have the 3.8 goby just another goby one so that one's pretty good definitely going to be trying that one out but I don't have a ton of just white ones so this one's actually called white pearl shad the Guggen Bates saucy swimmer 3.8 so i really like the 3.8 ones um sometimes i throw bigger ones depending on where i'm at on the lake and just depending on the weather and everything um, i'll switch it up to a bigger swim bait if they're not hitting the smaller one but i really like that one i might even fish with blue jays outdoors and try some pink swim baits maybe i'll make these pink guys that'd be that'd be pretty cool to see a pink Guggen baits swim bait be caught by a big smallmouth. <laughs> I know you're watching this, Blue Jay, so what do you say? 
Let's go pink this year on St. Clair. <laughs> Might as well. The largemouth love it. Why well, won't the smallmouth? I caught some um, actually big smallmouth on that pink um, dragon drop from Guggen Bait. So <clears throat> I really like that one. But that pretty much wraps up today's video. I was just showing you guys what I got in the Carl's box. I'm probably going to go hang these up on the fishing wall. Just get all our tackle ready for next spring. Hopefully we can get down to Florida and go pick up the ranger boat it is still down there so i don't even know when we're gonna get it honestly because my dad's heading back to work next month so i don't even know if we're gonna be able to go down there and get it so hopefully one of us can go get it so we'll have it for next spring but that is gonna wrap up today's video really appreciate you watching and don't forget to hit that subscribe button we'll see you in the next one guys